2025, huh? 2025 is now, at least late 2025, is now basically the confirmation date for the new Battlefield game to be coming out after yesterday's uh, quarterly earnings call and Andrew Wilson's quotes, who's the CEO of EA, I believe, uh, it has all but confirmed that 2025 we will be getting a new Battlefield game. It will not be getting a new Battlefield game this year. Any Battlefield game, a mainline one, whatever Ripple Effect's working on, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to pull up the tweets here from Battlefield Bulletin. Breaking! ES says they're looking for they're looking for iconic new releases like Battlefield and, in, and other in-development titles beyond fiscal year 25. So don't expect a, a new game before April 2025 at the earliest. Before crossplay was a thing. That's, that's, that's a womp womp. That is a womp womp. Or Stuart Canfield is the one who said that. My, my apologies, not Andrew Wilson. And also, there was another one here I'm going to throw up on the screen. We're making investments in the future of the Battlefield franchise. Our exceptional teams from multiple world-class studios, working with cutting-edge frostbite technology, <laughs> and building an expansive community-focused Battlefield universe for fans. I also picked that one out because that's a very interesting uh, wording there. We might make a separate video on that. But this video is basically going to focus on the fact that we're not getting a Battlefield game this year. That's that's the big thing. And there's some other stuff. They talk about player numbers. They talk about, you know, year over year, blah, 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 right? Uh, people are engaging with a 19-week season. Bullshit. Uh, yeah, me and 15 other people, maybe. <laughs> but it, it, there was some other Season 7 stuff. Obviously, what we want to focus on is the Battlefield 2025. Now, let me give you some of the some of the pauses before I start to start to unleash. Not unleash. Actually, it'll probably end up being that. I believe... This is ultimately, if we look at it from the last two games, the right decision to not delay because they never said it was coming out in 24, but to push it, I, you know they did, to 2025 to give you know the devs more time to, to you know get everything in line, their vision, maybe take a left, maybe take a right instead of you know maybe make some adjustments and give us a, give us something more polished, more acceptable, more to what people would call quote unquote battlefield. I hate using that term because. Uh, but I do think it's a good idea. I do think it's right. We'll get to the 2020. Dude, if they release bat the new Battlefield game, I got I I'm done. I'm done giving the right the right decision. Blah 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 blah. I'm done. I'm done. I can't do it anymore. I can't. I can't. I can't do the like PC. This is the right thing to do because that's what the play. I'm done. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. So you're telling me, <laughs> and we've talked about this on stream multiple times. You're telling me you're gonna release a Battlefield game. Around the same time as GTA 6? You would think that's a good idea. Now, I know what you're going to say, Gavin. <laughs> Those are two different genres, two different types of player bases. Two blah, 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 blah. Yes, they are. But if you think someone who basically only plays Battlefield isn't getting GTA 6, you're smoking on that good shit. Because I'm going to play it. I don't know if I'll post it on this channel, but we're going to play it. We're going to stream it. We're going to do content all over it. Now, especially since... We're not getting a Battlefield game until probably after GTA, which is just crazy. Crazy. That we may not get a Battlefield game until GTA. We're going to get GTA 6 before Battlefield. Now that's the meme. That's the meme to me. It's crazy. I understand why they're doing it. I do think if I put my emotions and my content creator selfishness to the side, I do think it's the correct decision to make to break habits, to break the two, three year uh, you know, cycle, to go to a four year cycle. It better not be a permanent thing though, because... It's going to be ridiculous if it is, because you're because it's just not, especially if they're going to put live service in the game. If you guys haven't watched my live service or premium video, go watch it. Uh, I unleash there and give my opinion on, on, on that. But I'm just, I, I kind of sat with this yesterday. I was going to make a video about it, but I kind of want to sit with it and kind of ingest it and, and really think. And I, again, right decision, but I find it disappointing and borderline unacceptable to me. It's unacceptable. I know there was a lot of shifting and moving parts. They fired, they got rid of a bunch of people. They brought some old people. They brought some older people back. Vince Appella from Respawn is now the head of Battlefield. You got uh, Marcus Leto in Seattle writing the story for the battle for the next Battlefield game or game and games. You've got Criteria doing what they're doing. You got Dice LA or Ripple Effect, aka formerly known as Dice LA, doing like I understand. We got things cooking. There was a lot of moving around. The game that they were we were gonna get next was probably scrapped completely, if not completely, but. It, it was most mostly scrapped because 2042 was supposed to be a launching off point for storytelling, and we see all that went womp womp. Terrible. I understand all of that. Battlefield 2042 came out in 2021, ladies and gentlemen. November, was it 16th or 17th? 
And it was delayed a month before that. It was supposed to come out in October. That means in November this year, it'll be three years since 2042's come out. Three years. I mean, it flies by when you're not having fun or if you're having fun. <laughs> this depends. This depends. Three years? Really? So as technology gets better, as far as making games, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. I'm ignorant. We're taking longer to make games now? To make a Battlefield game? Now? Or games? Plural. I understand that. If they're making multiple games and they want to kind of release them around each other. I got you. I got you. But as, as a selfish content creator, I have to... Oh. Boys, we got to start mixing in some some subs. So we got we to gotta jump ship every once in a while. Every once in a while, we got to do it. Single player, other shooter. I don't know. I can't do 2042 for another... Nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. We still got, what, um, two months, basically, until season seven, a month and a half? Like... If this wasn't put out today, I don't even know if I'd have a video to do today or tomorrow or, you know, like I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm grasping for straws over here because this genuinely like upset me to the point where I knew it was a bad idea to, to make the video yesterday. But now that I've kind of accepted it and been like, okay, I, I get what they're going for. I'm still not pleased. Um, you have all these people, you have all these studios, you have all these new, you know, people, they've been, they, Vince Cepella and Marcus Leto have been at their studios for I'd say probably a year and a year and a half ish, maybe two years. I don't I don't remember when they announced all that stuff. A year a year at least. That's the floor. So they've been cooking for a little while, which a year isn't long enough to make a battlefield game. I understand that, but they've been cooking for a little while that we know of. And to not get it until twenty unless they're pulling a fast one. This could be a fast one. They drop the trailer in October or or not October, May, and we're like, Oh thought we weren't getting it until next year. But I doubt that's gonna happen. Um I, I'm just this. I just want to get on the mic and just and just be somber, and just be upset and just cry a little. Cause I love Battlefield. And I want it to be in a good place, and it's not in a good place. And now we're we're gonna have to wait to see if it's going to get back to a good place while Call of Duty is releasing. You're gonna. So let me get this straight. You're gonna let. Let's see. What Call of Duty came out before 2042? What was that? So that's just one COD because it came out in October, and the Battlefield came out in November, I believe. So that's one. October 2022 or November 22. That's two. October, November 2023, that's three. October, November 2024, this year, that's four. It's likely that there's going to be five Call of Duty releases, like mainline titles. We're not counting Warzone on, so it's just updates. Five Call of Duty releases in the time you're going to put out one game. Or, like, I don't think people real, and, and that's their direct competition, whether people want to accept it or not. It just is. It's, the multiplayer shooting genre is, is, is dying Maybe even dead. The respawn, you know, spawn, die, spawn, die. That that game loop is a dying breed. I don't know if you knew this. Go look, go look at the numbers. Go look at it. Go look at the viewership now. I know that doesn't say everything, but it's a dying. And for you to keep waiting literal, like some, okay. Let me put this into perspective for you guys. Some, a freshman in high school, somebody in eighth grade here in the U.S. Got to school in September of 2021. Okay. He's a freshman, right? Four years of high school. He got to school, he or she got to school in September 2021. By the time, before 2042, by the time the next Battlefield game was co comes out, they'll, they'll damn near be graduated high school. No, wait, they will. Let me see, hold on, 21 to 22 to 20. 21 to 22 would be their first year. 22 to 23 would be their second. 23 to 24 would be their third. 24 to 25. Yeah, so they'll be graduated high school by the time the next Battlefield game. And y'all think that's, like, okay? You think that's cool? Oh, just let... I... I uh, uh, God, I'm being torn in two different directions. I'm being torn in the, it's the right thing to do. And I'm being torn in the selfish kind of, I need something to play and make, da, da, da. I, I'm being torn in two separate directions as a fan, as a, as someone who enjoys Battlefield. And it's kind of eating me up a little bit because it's, it just, when I think about it, it just gives you that kind of uncomfortable feeling in your chest. My chest gets a little tight, my stomach. Cause it's like, oh God, oh, I'm gonna have to like play something. I don't, I don't know. It kind of like stresses me out a little bit. And I'll be turning 25 in March. I'll be 26, damn near what four, five months away from 20, turning 27 before the, when the game comes out. Like, dude, come on. <laughs> that's how I look at it. That's how I, that's how I gotta look at it. But yes. Next Battlefield game will be in 2025. I'll stop rambling in you guys' ear and crying like a bitch.
Um, it is the right thing to do. I'm disappointed. I think it's unacceptable yet acceptable at the same time. I think you can compartmentalize your feelings and what's right and what's and all that. So I'm torn. Right thing to do. Wrong thing to do at the same time. I think it's unacceptable that you have all these. You've been working on these games for all these years, and you're not going to put out. Any, you're going to put out a game within a month or two month earshot of GTA 6. I just think that's a bad idea for anybody to do. Call of Duty can pr will probably do it. But they have the player base and the 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 gusto and the hype and the the they got they got people they got them. I'm probably gonna buy the Call of Duty next year too and this year too. And I don't I'm gonna play it for two or three weeks and then drop it. And they, like they just got us. They got me. They got me. They got me. It is, is what it is. So I mean, if, if that's what you want to do, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't release a game two months before GTA 6. I wouldn't release a game two th two or three months after GTA 6. And I damn sure. Wouldn't release a game whenever they drop the date for GTA Online. Boy, 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 boy. Don't you fucking do it. Don't do it. I don't care if it's a different player base or not. I don't care. If, I don't care. I don't. I don't care. I don't care. Don't do it. You, you were, you're asking for trouble. You got big cojones, cojones, balls here for doing this. And I respect it. But if the game comes out and it's trash... Boy, oh, but I'm going to have to go. I have to go. I have to go temporarily anyways. We got to play some other stuff, boys. Some games, some single-player games, something. Go back and play some older games, something. To put out some content. Damn. Unfortunate. But I appreciate you guys watching the video. Tell me, guys, tell me what you guys think down in the comment section down below. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, is it acceptable? Is it the right thing to do? Do you feel like it's, you know, four years between Battlefield games? Breaking a habit, you know, to the two to the three year. I get it. Tell me what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. All links are in the description down below. Discord, Twitter, all that stuff. Uh, we try to stream as much as we can on YouTube.com slash JustGav right here. But, uh, you know, you got weeks where, where the job is working me like a slave. So I literally have time to eat, sleep, shit, piss, wake up, or go to sleep, wake up, go to work, come back, eat, sheet, sleep. Blah, blah, blah. You get it. You get it. I'm not going to bitch and moan about real life. So we're talking about Battlefield here. But I appreciate you guys, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Girl Scouts. See you. Bye, guys.